Are you serious? Are you serious? We're talking RFID microchips they want to implant in your right hand between your finger and your thumb right in here. And they're really talking about it seriously in the United Kingdom. What? Right out of the pages of the Bible. This is a prophecy alert. Britain's biggest employer uh, organization and main trade union body have sounded the alarm over the prospect of the British companies implanting an RFID microchip. That's a radio frequency identification device about the size of a grain of rice. They would like to implant this in people's right hands between their thumb and their first finger. UK, the firm Biotech, which offers the implants to businesses and individuals, has already uh, fitted 150 people with this in the United Kingdom. The tiny chips implanted in the flesh between the thumb and the forefinger are similar to those for pets. They enable people to open their front door, access their office, and their computers, start their cars. They can even, by just a wave of a hand, also, uh, it, it will store a lot of medical data about the individual. Another company, Biohacks of Sweden, also provides the human chip, the RFID microchip implants, the size of a grain of rice. It told the Sunday Telegraph that it is the discussions with, it's in discussions right now with several British legal and financial firms about fitting their employees with these RFID microchips, including one major company with hundreds of thousands of employees. The CBI, which represents 190,000 UK businessmen, voiced concerns about the prospect. A CBI spokesperson said, while technology is changing the way we work, this makes for distinctly uncomfortable reading. Firms should be concentrating on rather on immediate priorities and focusing on engaging with their employees. And the TUC is worried that staff could be coerced into being microchipped. Its general secretary, Francis O'Grady, said, We know workers are already concerned that some employers are using the technology to control and micromanage their employees, whittling away their staff's right to privacy. In other words, they would know everywhere you go. What? Every move you make, every step you take, every keyboard you take, they are watching you. What? Yes, they'll know what they'll know what time you got into work. They'll know what you're doing. They'll know where you walk down the hall. How many times did you go to the water cooler? How many times did you go to the bathroom? How long did you take at lunch? What, who was you talking to on the phone? Where do you go after work? Who do you meet with? Are you meeting with the competition? Okay, so they're worried about corporate espionage. They're worried about people. Selling information. And obviously, in the defense contracts, they're going to want to do this. You already know that. And not just in the UK, but all over the world. Now, here's, and of course, the biblical beast, the mark of the beast. You know, I wrote the book, Mark of the Beast, RFID. <laughs> I wrote it in 2012. And the reason is, I've seen this microchip technology coming. And not only just that, but I, I mean, I got all kinds of different things in there that would be coming, including, uh, you know, biochem, um, bio, uh, what bio weaponry, okay, uh, viruses that could spread and, and depopulization, chemtrails, you name it, okay, uh, internment camps, reeducation camps, all kinds of uh, trends humanoid technologies, all kinds of stuff, all right? So it's, it's incredible what's happening, and uh, we're, now we're talking the mark of the beast technology. Now, that's not, these people, if they do get implanted, that's not the mark of the beast, but you're putting in position the technology that could be used to implement the mark of the beast. Now, the Bible said in Revelation 13, it starts talking about these two beasts. You got the Antichrist and false prophet, but here, and even the image to the beast. But then it says this, 
It says in verse 16 that he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right here is another place they want to insert them. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, or a number is six six six. Now we're going to keep a close eye on this. This is a breaking news coming right out of the United Kingdom. What does this all mean? Of course, it's the technology capability that could bring about the implementation of the mark of the beast system. Now, I'm not saying this is, I don't, because we don't even have an antichrist yet, okay? The antichrist hasn't come forward. We're not in that. We're close. We're real close. We're so close that they're microchipping people. What? Give your life to Jesus Christ. I mean, seriously, guys, this thing is winding, it's winding down fast. 